Hey, Merrick here with the Movement Real Estate Group. I want to do the movement report for January 2020. So without further ado, here we go. So sales started off pretty strong this year. Like I mentioned in the previous videos, we trended to the end of the year strong. So we're starting this year 3% above the 10 year average. So we had 139 real estate transactions in Abbotsford, all property types. So we're talking condos, townhouses, houses, everything that went through the MLS is on this. And all of the numbers, by the way, are brought to you by the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board statistics. Uh, statistics. So new listings in Abbotsford, 245 new listings in the month of January, which you think would good uh, would be good, but we're actually look around uh, 342 for the average. So we are 28% below average for uh, new listings in Abbotsford. Uh, active listings, 575 uh, active listings in Abbotsford. Uh, that's 38% below the 10 year average. So substantially below the uh, average for uh, current inventory online uh, on the market, which is, which is not a good thing uh, if you're a buyer and it's a great thing if you're a seller. Uh, percentage of original price, you're gonna get about 97% uh, of your asking price, uh, asking price which is pr pretty much normal. Uh, sales to active ratio, uh, it's actually up 5.8%. So uh, typically we would be around 18% for sales to active ratio in the month of January uh, by the 10 year average. Uh, we're sitting at about 24%, again, uh, almost 6% above. So what does that mean? It's a seller's market. Uh, sellers are gonna get lots of buyers looking at their places right now. Uh, and you're gonna start to notice, uh, you know, Potentially, you're going to start to notice prices going up, moving up this year. So days on market. Uh, right now, we're sitting at 31 days on market. And uh, typically, in the month of January, we will be around 50 days. So we are not sitting on the market as, as long, 38% less time on the market. Uh, so re residential detached, this is a home in Abbotsford. Uh, your average home, this is the, media, uh, the HBI price, uh, you're at... 798,900, so just below 800,000, uh, which is actually down 5% from the high of July of uh, 2018. So we're down $42,000 overall, uh, roughly about 5% uh, down. Townhomes are sitting around 30, uh, 380,000, uh, down from June of 2018, uh, they were at 409,000, so we're down 7% on townhomes uh, from the high. So uh, apartments, even more of a drastic drop, 312 is your average apartment, and that's down 12%. So $44,000 off of the cost of an apartment when it was at its peak of 356. So what does that mean? We, we have low inventory, we don't have a lot of product to sell, and, we, and it's starting to show demand is starting to rise. There's also uh, the government is potentially going to reduce uh, the qualification rates. Uh, you know, if you have 20% down, you won't need to, to pass the stress test, stuff like that. So if that happens, even more buyers will be able to upgrade. Um, so yeah, great time to buy a condo. Uh, if you're looking at getting a condo, um, it's a good time to up, upgrade from a townhouse to a house uh, because uh, you know, you've lost less in your townhouse than you have in your house and it's um, it's going to be an interesting year for 2020 I think I think the prices are going to rise uh, but you know time will tell I don't think we'll hit the max of what we've, we've been at but I think definitely we're going to inch up in price this year just because demand and again listings are 40 percent of what they should be so or for down excuse me down 40 percent of what they should be so that's a big 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 loss so we'll see if you have any questions or you feel differently, uh, reach out to me, send me a message. Again, it's Merrick with the Movement Real Estate Group, uh, and that was for the month of January 2020.